business. Just tell me where I can find the Holy Gek and I'll be on my way. <laughs> yep, that's one big chip on your shoulder. Why don't you come back when that chip isn't quite so big? You have a nice day and watch out for that door on your way out. Hey, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. What do you want for this info? Ah, yeah, yeah, what I want. If you hadn't noticed, yet our little farming community has experienced one of its worst droughts ever. The rainy season was unusually short this year, and our crops are dead or dying from lack of water. To put it bluntly, our community is on the verge of withering away with our crops. Uh, you do know I can't make it rain, right? <laughs> eh, no, nah, no, nah. of course not. I wouldn't ask you to do something as impossible as that. You really can't make it rain, can you? No, of course you can't. Anyway, like I was saying, we're in trouble and we could use your help. Alright, I'm listening. There's this farm at the outskirts of town, where no farm should be. Some years back, it just appeared out of nowhere. Well, yeah, you trying to say that this farm just sprung up overnight? Yeah, right. A group of us were out hunting when we noticed the new farm. But that wasn't the strange thing. Soon after, some of us got together to visit our new neighbor, only to discover that there wasn't anybody there. Go on. After many months of trying to contact the owners with no success, it was decided that the farm must have been abandoned soon after it was built. So instead of letting the crops right in the field, young Carl moved in. Hmm. That's when things got bad. Carl started to tell stories of seeing strange glowing figures tending the crops and feeding the animals at night. We all laughed at him, thinking he was making up stories. Then one day, Carl stopped coming into town. Did you look for him? What happened? Of course we did. We went up there as soon as we suspected something was wrong. <sighs> the horror. Bodies strewn everywhere. Some crucified while others were left to rot out in the sun. I still wake up screaming in the middle of the night from the horrible images I saw that day. So let me guess. You want me to go to this farm find out what happened. Normally, I'd just leave that cursed place be, but for some reason, the crops at this farm are still flourishing despite the drought. We'll starve if we don't get food soon. Will you help us rid the farm of these ghosts? What do I get out of this? In return for helping us? I'll tell you where you can find what you seek. Do we trust this guy? I don't want to do this. And then he says, psych. Or he, t or he says, oh, Gek? I thought you said Gecko. Or something. <laughs> uh, oh. Alright then. Let's seal the deal. As a form of trust. Cut off your right pinky finger. What? Is that how you see the deal where you're from? We're desperate, and I believe you're the only person that could pull this off. So I guess it's a small sacrifice if it'll save our town. All right. Now I'll help. <laughs> Lose calm. This farm is about a day's travel northeast of here. Jesus, this hurts like hell. <sighs> Come back when you've found something. Goodbye.
Well, if the guy's willing to lose a finger, I doubt he's lying about where the Gek is. So this guy could seriously know where... Where is he going to tell us to go, though? What if he tells us to go to Vault City? That'd fucking suck. Alright, let's check out this ghost farm then. Take damage from poison. What did he say? Oh damn it, I'm gonna come back here. I wanna see what he said. So I kick the bucket. Don't bury me here. Same for me. Holy shit. He wasn't kidding about this place. What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> no. Yeah, he, uh, he really wasn't kidding about this place. Jesus Christ. This is messed up. What the hell are we dealing with here? Surrender or die. Uh, I surrender? Uh oh. The hell am I surrendering to? Ah, please let me apologize for the unpleasant circumstances under which we meet. Normally, the protectors would have tried to scare you off. Usually, rattling chains and some low moaning is enough to scare anybody off, but recently they've been instructed to bring any surfacers they find to me. What do you want with me? Simple request. We need to make contact with the town to the southwest. I believe it's called Modoc. Would you do us this favor? <laughs> Buddy, look. I have many questions to ask before I can possibly take this mission. Fair enough. I wouldn't expect anyone to blindly accept tasks from strangers without first learning a little bit about them. Ask your questions and I'll answer them as best you can. So, uh... What the hell's this? What are you people? Once, long ago, we were once like the surfacers. We too dwelled above ground until the world above caught fire. Our ancestors, who were part of a secret militia, sealed themselves and their families down here for protection. For generations down here we've remained safely hidden within the womb of modern Mother Earth. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, uh, what kind of defenses you got set up? Enough! No more questions. You make your decision now. Alright, I'll carry your message to Modoc. I knew you'd understand. Here's the message relaying our request. Please take it to Mordok and give it to the person in charge. Return here when your task is complete. I'll tell the protectors to expect your return. We thank you for doing this service. I have no clue what the hell is even going on. Figure. You may leave through the trapdoor located at the rear of this building. What's the rear? Oh. What trap door? I don't see no trap door. This thing? I can't get to it.
Let's go. I wish I could ask. I wish I could ask more questions before he went away. But I guess I'll just send this message because I don't know what the hell's going on. It's got nothing to do with me. Hello. One pinky man. Hey. Joe. You're back. What'd you find out about the farm? Uh, I have a message for you from the leader of the slags? Slags? Who are they? What's this? This... This is incredible. They've been living underground all this time. They say they're willing to trade food for medical supplies and other stuff. I don't know if they can be trusted. After all, they killed Carl and all those other people. What do you think? Well, I'll be honest, I don't want no part in this. I fulfilled my end of the bargain. Tell me where the Gek is. How can you live with yourself? We're in a crisis here, and all you can think of are your own selfish needs. Very well. Why don't you go to Gecko? It's to the east of here somewhere. If anyone knows about this Gek thing, I'm sure they would. Now, if you don't mind, I need to meet with the townspeople so we can figure out what to do. I've been to Gecko. No one knows anything. Well, he does. Harold did, but hey, look, look, mm. we don't want your kind around here, so I can't help now. I just wanted to see if you'd actually tell me anything. Oh. What happens if I go back to? Where's my save at? Because this is kind of bullshit. Alright, I'm gonna get some more questions in this time. Yeah, that's a nice sound. What do you want with me? I have some questions. It's the right people. So, uh, why'd you come back to the surface? Our population has steadily increased since the sealing. It soon became apparent that we could no longer survive down here without further supplies, so the seal was broken. And we once again looked to the surface for survival. Hmm. So, uh, why the big ghost charade on the surface? Years ago, someone tried to take over our farm, harvesting crops and stealing animals they had no right to. We're not a violent people by nature, but something had to be done. Our survival at the time, depending on those crops. That's when we came up with a ghost idea. Smearing ourselves with glowing fungus. We were able to scare away this person and any of our nosy neighbors. Fortunately, this has been a little too effective. Lately, we've been seeking to make contact with the surfacers, but no one comes to the farm anymore for fear of the ghosts. Luckily, you dropped by. Hmm. Alright. And, uh, what's the purpose of your message? With the completion of the new irrigation systems, our food supply far exceeds our needs. We wish to establish trade with the services in exchange to us food for much needed medicines. Alright. I'm gonna make my decision. I'll gladly carry a message to Modoc. Alright, and we already said seen this, alright. <sighs> sucks that I had to do this. I totes shouldn't have had to, but what are you gonna do?
Joey, Joey, one pinky. Your message. Alright. <clears throat> what do you think? What can I do to help? We're going to attack, but only as the last resort. We only have a month's supply of food left before we start to starve. You have until then to find out what is going on. I won't negotiate with them, unless I know for certain that they didn't do anything to Carl, and I have to know their reason for stalking all those people out in front of their farm. Or staking all those people out in front of their farm. I won't deal with savages. Alright. Good goodbye then, I guess. Head him back. Broker a piece. Do 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 do. Heading back. This place looks worse than Vault City. So these guys are gonna take me directly to it more. Hi. If you need to see Vega, we can escort you to him. Yes, I need to see Vega immediately. Vegir Vegir I don't know Yo, what's the matter? How good of you to return? I take you've delivered the message to Modoc then. How was it received? They have some reservations About what? They don't trust you after all they think you kill passers-by and stick the bodies out in front of your farm. We're peaceful people and have killed no one. Those bodies are merely props we manufactured to scare off those who tried to steal from us. If you examine the bodies closely, you'll notice that they're nothing more but Brahmin guts and dummies. Then what about Carl? You know, the farmer that was living on your farm? Was that his name? Carl? We scared him off the farm, nothing more. I assume he went back home when he discovered the farm was haunted. Protectors reported him headed west. You might try searching for him that way. I'll keep you informed of my progress. Can I explore around here? What's even here? It doesn't look like much. Hmm. Probably isn't much, to be honest. It's just an underground cave. And yet they live down here? Hmm. I kicked the bucket. Don't bury me here. Oh, yeah. I should, uh, maybe check. This is... Legit. These bodies appear to be fake, nothing but dummies covered in Brahmin innards. Mm hmm. Joey Jojo! We're gonna attack the slags in 28 days unless you can convince me otherwise. Those bodies are fake. Just dummies covered in Brahmin guts. They were there to scare you away from the crops. Fake? It's impossible. I saw them with my own eyes. Blood and gore everywhere, but... I guess it's possible. We didn't... I mean, well... We all kind of turned tail and ran when we saw the bodies. No one actually had the guts to examine them closely. That's all I know for now. Hey, what? Don't lie. What am I supposed to do again? Carl disappeared from the time to time. Find out what happened to him. So I gotta find him myself. Can I tell him they didn't kill Carl? <laughs> <laughs> 